Hi, this is Shell of Shell's Creations, and in this video I want to show you a quick way to upload your layouts to Instagram. There are a lot of things changing in the world of apps and phones and what's going on, and, and there are third-party applications that are coming and going that allow you to upload things to Instagram. Um, sometimes they're around for a while, sometimes they're around very briefly. Even um, some of the newer ones, Instagram, Instagram would prefer to remain a uh, mobile only app and because of that um, third-party apps that allow you to upload your photos um, in the past some of them have been penalized by Instagram in making your entire feed all of the hashtags not searchable so let's talk about how to do it the right way for starters you have to establish your Instagram account on a, um, a mobile device by downloading the Instagram app um, which is free and then going from there so once you have it set up and you've got an Instagram feed but you want to be able to add your layouts for whatever reason perhaps your favorite designer is having a contest each week or hands out uh, coupons to layouts that she finds on Instagram so let me show you how we can do it okay uh, the simplest way to do it and there are there are several different ways but somehow you've got to get that layout to your phone and so what you see on my um, recording right now on the left is my computer um, on the right is my cell phone screen I have it projected up onto my computer right now so that you can see it so the little one you see on the right that's what you would see on my phone the one you see on the left is my computer so I can show you how to do it so let's go to um, I'm gonna go to my email program and I'm just gonna email the layout to myself I want to email the web version and so I need to email it to myself let's see uh, let's email it to a different one than my Gmail one although that one would work um, let's do uh, Fab 50s layout and then I'm going to go ahead and attach to that um, a layout that was recently completed by one of my CT members this one right here um, okay now that it's attached to it I'm going to go ahead and hit send and on my phone I'm going to get out of the Instagram app and go back into my mail program and see if it is if it's come in yet um, one of the things I noticed when I was working on this because both of them are accessing Gmail at the same time um, when I couldn't find it coming in um, I went ahead and looked back in my mailboxes to my sent items um, and you can download it from your sent items as well so you can just send it to yourself that way and there is the layout right there now I have um, a iPhone so I the exact process here might be slightly different but somehow you need to save that layout to your photo stream and for me that's just a matter of holding my finger down on it until this pops up and then I'm looking for the icon that's down here on the bottom row um, save image and when I click on that one it will put that um, layout into my photo stream if I go to my photos you don't have to do this part but I'll just show you the inside of my photos um, let's go all the way to the newest ones there we go right there it is in my newest ones okay so let's go back into Instagram now and if you click on the icon let's make sure that you can see this whole my whole Instagram screen or my whole phone screen Let me move it back over here where it's supposed to be we're gonna click um, the video record icons that you see here are if I want to record what's on my phone separately Oh, good. They, I was like, wait a minute. Go away, icons. There we go. <laughs> okay, that button right in the middle, the one that is a square with a circle in the middle, that's the take a picture button. But you always have an option when you're taking a picture of um, right there to the left of that big blue button. It'll bring up your photo stream. It shows you the most recent photo in your photo stream. You can scroll through them and pick a different one, but we that's the one we want right there. Uh, you can, like any Instagram photo, you can go ahead and add a... Uh, filter to it if you want I'm thinking if it's your layouts you're just gonna want to go with normal let's go on to the next now this is the important part you can write whatever you want about your layout right here um, I'm gonna put created with fabulous 50s by um, I probably should, yeah there we go shells creations 
by um, my CT member's name is Enjoy Your Picks. And so because I'm putting her layout here, I'm going to go ahead and put her name in there. Um, if I knew her name, I would go ahead, or if I knew her Instagram handle, I would go ahead and at mention her. But here comes the important part. Make sure you add some hashtags to it. Hashtags help us find things. I'm going to hashtag it shells. And if it's a hashtag you've typed before, it'll pop up. And then you don't have to type the whole thing. Shells creations. Um, and you can hashtag it whatever else you want. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hashtag. Wait. Okay, hashtag. There we go. Hashtag. Um, digi scrap and I'm going to hashtag it uh, digital scrapbooking and then I say OK um, and then you have an option if you have it set up it'll also post to your Facebook feed if you select that or to your other feeds depending on what you wanted to do, want to do. Okay and that's it you hit share and there you go you can look in there it is showing up right there in my feed um, and and there's my entire feed it's showing up there. So there's a simple way to um, add your scrapbook layout to Instagram to be able to post something to Instagram that you're not taking a picture of. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. See you next time.